when I was first asked to do this, I thought, I haven't even seen Ted. Um, how am I going to talk about it? But I rented it to do this. And uh, th the first thing I thought when I was watching it is, well, first, it's funny, but it's also kind of gay, like homosexual. And it, everyone knows Seth MacFarlane is gay, right? He lives with his mom. Oh. Um, anyway, Ted's a great movie. It's just, it's in the gay genre, just like a Spike Lee movie would be like a black movie, like, you know, do the right thing. It's just a different context, different culture, but it's still a good movie. And I, I guess at first I resented that, that it had an undertone, but then I realized, no, who cares what it, but that's not what we're here for. Uh, apparently this is a thing about teamwork. I don't have a lot, I had a lot on Ted. It's a teddy bear, there's a whole teddy bear fight scene. Teamwork, huh? I fucking hate teamwork. What is worse than teamwork? This whole seminar is about teamwork? Everyone here is talking about fucking teamwork? Teamwork is the bane of my existence. It's the bane of America's existence. Does anyone actually really believe that teams are more effective at a task than an individual? Jesus Christ, teamwork? Lord! Everything good in this country, everything American, the whole reason I emigrated here from Canada was to get away from collectivism and the team. Fuck the team. Why hasn't Japan and China invented anything? They're smarter than us. You know why? Because they're into collectivism. There's no swagger. You need to be a nut. What does Steve Jobs say? Crazy people are the only ones who can change the world because you'd have to be crazy to think you can change the world. Oh, God. I don't know how many meetings I've been at, and we all have to sit around and give everyone their due. Well, what's your idea, Cindy? I don't know. I thought it'd be funny if maybe the guy came out and he was like a shoe. Oh, Lord. And then you have to go, that's an interesting idea. It'd be very expensive, but we'll see what we can do with that. Half my fucking job is placating idiots because they're part of the team. Half of meetings, I'm thinking, can I just go back to work? I got to go create stuff that I'm good at by myself. Almost every, look at science, look at biology, look at chemistry. Every major invention has been done by a maverick who hated teams. Look at James Watson, the guy who discovered the structure of the genome. He did it all by himself. And he couldn't explain it to people because it was so advanced, scientists didn't understand him. It was like he came from the future. It was like explaining laser beams to a caveman. Then Francis Crick came along. He individually discovered the same thing, and they both went, oh, good, I'm not insane. Yeah, you see, the genome is like this, and you can duplicate it. Science wouldn't exist with teamwork. It's all about the individual. Look at um, Barbara McClintock sitting away, a little kind of an ugly old lady with her little microscope studying chromosomes. Everything we know about chromosomes is from her crazy research that she did all alone. She's the reason we know why tumors exist. She's the reason we know that antibiotics can, there's certain viruses that become immune to antibiotics. You know that whole thing about finish your medication? That's because of her. She's saving your life. She's curing cancer. I don't even think she's alive anymore. But her research, her individualism is saving our lives. Look at Norman Borlaug, the guy on his own, and don't talk about his team, okay? Those, those were his employees, all right? That's that Obama bullshit, you didn't build that. No, 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 no. An individual did that as a leader and then had employees flaking behind him. Norman Borlaug saved a billion lives. He discovered a tiny, weird little Mexican dwarf corn that can survive anything and save the third world. A billion fucking lives. But no, we gotta have a Che Guevara shirt on because he's the collectivist. Che Guevara shot 3,000 people in the head in the name of teamwork. 
Norman Borlaug saved a billion lives in the name of individualism. God, teamwork. I hate the word, makes me want to puke. The team. The te and you know who likes teamwork? Incompetent people. They're like lampreys on a shark. They just, let's, can we be a team? Get off of me. No, we do it together as a team. I don't want you in my team. Unless we're playing football, get away from me. All of science. What's that other guy, Kerry Mulis? He discovered the uh, polymeserate, what's it called again, PCR? The polymeserate chain reaction or something? I'm not a smart guy, but if there's one place where you can talk about the power of individualism, it's science. And PCR changed the whole world of biology. Now when, when scientists talk about it, they have pre-PCR and post-PCR, like AD and BC. He's the Jesus Christ of fucking biology. Speaking of Jesus Christ and evolution, you can't talk about evolution without citing Barbara McClintock's research, because she's the one who discovered all these morphing genes, the jumping genes. That's her shit. God damn. Look at comedians. Can you imagine uh, Jim Gaffigan or David Cross or any of these people, if the, or Sarah Silverman, if the audience came up later and went, I got an idea. What if uh, when you're doing that whole cum joke, uh, you had like a pillow there that had like a weird stain? Okay, let's try to incorporate that into the joke. Who's next? Let's have some more cooks to spoil the broth. Look at music. Ask Ronnie James Dio about individualism. Any band worth their salt has their Pete Townsend, who writes all the songs, does all the shit, and everyone goes, okay, and then I go, teenage, what land? And then I'll just go, yeah, wasteland. I love it. Bang. And any band that has any kind of collectivism breaks up. Because they, the egos clash. You need an individual. You need teamwork. Jesus, Lord. It's easier to think of things where teamwork would be good. Football? Uh, murdering a guy? Uh, painting a large building? Which would have been one individual's idea. Look at the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building. They were built in less than a year and a half by individuals, one man. First, the Chrysler Building comes up. During the Great Depression, wham, it's up in a year and a half. Then some other guy goes, shit, that fucker has a, the tallest building in the world. Cocksucker. I'm doing it. I'm doing a bigger one. Broom, Empire State Building in a year and a half. Again, during the Depression. These were one man. Yes, he had employees. I know he didn't build that, but he built that. Okay? The mix who laid the bricks were getting paid. <sighs> I really wish this was about the movie, because there's a lot of funnier parts in there. Science, the arts, comedy. Look at, look at uh, Roy Lichtenstein or Andy Warhol. Those guys had individual visions. Yeah, but someone silkscreen those Warhols. Fuck off. He paid someone to silk screen those things. He had an individual vision. Roy Lichtenstein goes, I got an idea. Uh, it'd be funny if I knew exactly how he talked and I could do a perfect Roy Lichtenstein. I have an idea. I'm going to paint a comic panel exactly how it's done. And I'll try to duplicate it and it won't be perfect and that imperfection will be my art. Oh, life-changing event, altered the course of pop art forever. He's at the fucking Guggenheim every Sunday. That was an individual, okay? It's sane to go with the grain. It's safe to acquiesce. That's the smartest, sanest, most rational thing to do. And I'd rather have insanity, please. I'd rather have the nuts that go against the grain. It's the nuts who built America. It's the nuts who changed the world. It's the nuts who improve our lives with revolutionary inventions. It's the nuts who win Nobel Peace Prizes. Fuck the team. I'll take the nut. Thank you very much.